Thursday marks the start of Hispanic Heritage Month, a celebration honoring the contributions and histories of Americans with roots in Spain, Mexico, Central and South America and the Caribbean. The observance straddles two months, spanning from September 15 through October 15, honoring a long-established community whose influence is felt throughout the country. It celebrates a vast community of Americans who have made invaluable contributions to the United States for over 300 years, said March. Hispanic and Latinx people are making important contributions to American arts, culture and humanities, and all aspects of society, every single day. From newly arrived immigrants to native communities that have called these lands home for centuries, it's a community that has gained considerable sea. The legislation was sponsored by California U.S. Rep. Edward Roybal of Los Angeles, an Albuquerque native whose family moved to California when he was six. In 1988, President Ronald Reagan signed into law a bill sponsored by Illinois Senator Paul Simon expanding National Hispanic Heritage Week to its current 30-day period. Reagan used the moment to praise Hispanics and their cultural pillars of church and school, but most of all to extol the virtues of familia. As the great poet Octavio Paz has said, in Hispanic morals, the true protagonist is the family, Reagan said in his address. I fear that too often, in the mad rush of modern American life, some people have not learned the great lesson of our Hispanic heritage, the lesson of family and home and church and community. According to July 2021 estimates from the Census Bureau, the United States is home to nearly 63 million high. It's a growing population, a Pew Research Center analysis of three, 140 counties, those with Hispanic populations of at least 1,000 in 2010, found that Hispanics grew 23% from 2010 to 2020, more than three times the national population growth rate of 